Ataka 
Amen. Amen. I believe that all of us have become sons. What a singer about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Sasa, now then. He resurrected together with us because we had died. But he overcame the death. He went right to hell. When he got out, he was quite alive. And those who are dead also got to the life of God. Then we continue thanking God. We should just continue thanking God. That son was persecuted very, very seriously. He suffered. He was given a crown of thorns and have so many whips on his back and nails on the hands and the feet. But he stayed very calm. Some great work was done there. Now salvation, my dear brethren, means bearing the cost. Ugaramike, you bear the cost. How, how do you find it? God bought the cost. He gave out his only begotten son. For the whole world to be able to be saved. You just pray to God. To give the spirit of bearing the cost. Bearing such cost. Means doing something that we'd never do. But you just do it. That's how it is to bear the cost. Jesus came to earth. He was sent by the Father. And he bore the cost. To be beaten. To be despised. was also persecuted. For the world to be able to be saved. What is seeking even at this time. God is seeking even at this time. To whoever, who, whoever, wants be his, whoever wants will be given his joy. That's why we find us having brought, been brought with here. We're going towards getting the, the spirit of our son. That's the very greatest thing. People are seeking, but, but they have not become children. One old man followed the Lord Jesus. He said, It looks like you're a man of God. Okay. What do I do to be able to enter? He was informed. I found it very, very tough. Being a son is a very hard thing indeed. Let's bear the cost, my dear brother. Bear the cost in your house. And you say, if people will call me useless, let them say that I'm useless so that I may please God and the human beings as well. Because you may be, you want to please God alone. 
Pendeza Mungu na wanadamu. You please God and human beings. Ndivyo Bwana Yesu alivyofanya. That's what the Lord Jesus did. Wandugu wako hapa. Brethren are here. Wambiri wako hapa. Preachers are here. Kila aina tuko hapa. We are here with every Kila type of us. Kila Let none of us please himself. Kila mtu apendeze mwenzake. Everybody plead to please Yesu his colleague. Yesu alipendeza baba. Jesus please the Father na Adam, and the human beings. Na Mungu nguvu hizo. And I believe God will give us that strength. Uwezo huo. He'll give us that power. Ili Mungu na wanadamu. So that we may please God and the human beings. Mungu na wanadamu. We please God and human beings as well. Kila mtu ametafuta kuokoka duniani. Each one of us is seeking salvation on Lakini this earth. Ni siri kubwa sana. But salvation is a very great secret. Hata ndiyo ule wokofu. You cannot say that there's the salvation. Hata sahi, Even at this time. Mtu akiwa mwana, when one becomes a son. Yeye huvishwa, he's dressed. Yeye hulishwa, he's fed. Mwana. A son. Mtoto ndiye anafungwa nipukini. The child will have to wear the napkins. Aya, mimi saini, seme, and if I say at this time that we don't wear napkins, even if they're there freely, you won't buy them, but you say no. Yako. That's up to you. Oh, well, you don't wear a napkin at this time. Oh, well, you don't wear a napkin at this time. 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 You don't wear a napkin at this Chukua wokofu ulio na hukumu. Take that salvation with condemnation. Maana ukikosa hukumu tu. Because if you don't have the condemnation, watu wanafanya mabaya. People commit very evil things. Lakini tutafute, but let's seek, tuchukue wokofu ambao, and we take such salvation. That is to bear the cost. Ili kusudi, for the purpose, kupendeze Mungu na wanadamu. Of pleasing God and human beings. Ndio unaona tumeletwa hapa sisi. That's why us having been brought here this day. Hapa, we have been here since then. Ni siku ya tatu na This is the third day I think. We're here. And it's because of the word of God. If you want God to do any work, salvation is spoiled. Because the human being gets to a place of the salvation, he goes by the certain words now. Finally, he falls down. But you take this salvation of bearing the cost. You say, I'll bear the cost here. So that I may get this salvation. Amen. Amen. Read the book of Genesis, please. The book of Genesis. Salvation becomes tough because there's something missing. And once that thing departs, Adam says, it's a wonderful as human beings, we shall have a very permanent and continuous joy. Without that, there are so many people I saw in the past year and not become a preacher yet. But I saw people and I was told those are preachers. And then we were told one day that he fell off. What is it, my dear? And he was just before God. There's nobody who wants to fall down. There's none. Uwa hiyo ni ajali. That's an accident. Na ukae utafute nitapita na wapi? I should sit down and seek as to how and where do we pass through. Mwanzo 20. Book of Genesis chapter 20. Jiweke tayari tu. Prepare yourself. Pengine sitakuwa na mwendo mrefu. Maybe I won't have a very long time. Mungu mwenye ambavyo amepanga. It's in the manner that God himself has planned. Weka tayari hapo mapema mapema hapo. Put that place ready. Na naamini Mungu atatuokoa sote tu wapi. And I believe God will save us all of us who are here. Wakofu unaharibika salvation is spoiled sababu yake ni hii this is the cause for it soma mwanzo 20 read the book of genesis chapter 20 mstari wa 10 verse 10 mstari wa 10 verse 10 mahala ambapo wakofu unaharibika the place where the salvation is spoiled tunaachwa na Mungu we then we are left by God soma read please abimeleki akamwambia ibrahimu umeona nini hata ukatenda jambo hili ibrahimu akasema kwa sababu naliona yakini hapana hofu ya Mungu mahali hapa nao wataniua kwa ajili ya mke wangu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Then Abimelech said Upigire to him, Mungu ya shukurani. Let's love for God. In thanksgiving. Endelea ndugu. Thank you. Then Abimelech said to Abraham, "What did you have in view that you have done this thing?" And Abraham said, because I thought surely the fear of God is not in this place and they will kill me on account of my wife. 
anatembea na dada wa kwake was walking along with his wife wakazungumza huko njiani they discussed somewhere on the way kabla hatojaingia hii inchi before getting into this land haya tupange mpango okay let's make a plan ukulizo utasemaje what will you say if you ask tasema mimi ni ndugu yako you say you are my my sister ni watu wa Mungu hao. These are people of God. Tena wanaenda sehemu ya watu wa Mungu. And they're going to certain areas of people of God Lakini as well. Lakini kuna hili neno ambalo But there's this thing. Linasumbua ulimwengu mpaka sasa. That's disturbing the world up to this Siku moment. Sikutaka kwa mtu. It's not anybody's will. Ata... No. Na ndivyo ilivyo. And that's how it is. Yale mabaki mabaki ndio husumbua wokovu. All the remnants will always disturb the salvation. Ibrahim akaona. Abraham found out Haya sema wewe ni ndugu yako. Okay say you are just my sister. Nitaka salama mimi. I'll be very safe here. Alipoonekana huyo mwanamke. When the woman was seen. Akasema eh yeah. they said yes. Ndio wale tunaowapenda. These are the ones we love. Akatuma tayari watu. They send people straight away. Karibisheni. You bring her here. Nyumba za wageni. Into the guest houses. Akaingia. She entered there. Akaulizwa memeleki. Then she was asked, "Unatoa makoti uende wapi?" But Abimele was asked, "What are you removing the clothes for? Don't you know that is somebody's wife? Wow. What? Why has Abraham done this thing? Why has he done this thing? He bring some so much trouble in my kingdom." Umeona nini wewe? What have you seen then? Akasema, he said, Nimeona hakuna hofu. I've seen that there's no fear here. Mtu ambaye hana hofu ya Mungu. One without the fear of God. Hawezi kusimamia la Mungu moyoni mwake. He cannot get that of, the, that of God in his heart. Mtu ambaye hana hofu. One without the fear. Hofu ni hukumu. Fear means judgment. Moyo ulio na hukumu. The heart that can be condemned. Si rahisi kwenda dhambini. It's not easy to go into sin. Lakini, but maana ukiwa na hofu, because once you have any fear in you, hiyo ni kama break that's like breaks ukitaka kwenda huko unazuia if you want to go this side you are here ukitaka kwenda huko unazuia and if you want to go this side you will be blocked hiyo na break hii but any more of vehicle without any breaks uingia popote hata mitaruni itaenda it will get into any place even in trenches sasa ikaonekana kwa mtu wa heshima yule then it was known to that very honorable man anafuata wake za wenyewe that was following wives of other people ndio akaambiwa that's why he was told kumbe Umeniambia haya kwa sababu umeona. So you told, told me this thing because you have seen. Eh nimeona hiyo hapa nchi hii. I've seen the things in this land. Ndio nikaona niseme hivi msijamkaniua. That's why I thought it best to say that so that you don't Mutu kill me. Mtu yoyote asiye na hofu ya Mungu. Any man without the fear of God. Asiye na hofu ya Mungu. One without the fear of God. Utafuteni hofu ya Mungu. Let's seek this fear. Hata ukalala porini. Even if you sleep in the forest. Hata ukaenda kulala wapi? Wherever you may go to sleep. Tena utatoka salama hapa. And you leave the place very safely. Kwa sababu indeed. una hofu ya Mungu because you have the fear of God. Na aliye na hofu ya Mungu. And one with the fear of God. Haingi mabayani. Doesn't get into evil things. Haingi mabayani. He never gets into evil things. Haingi mabayani. He never gets into evil things. Hofu ya Mungu. The fear of God. Watu wasio na hofu ya Mungu. People without the fear of God. Kusikia hii ni makosa. Feeling that this is wrong. Singeweza kufanya hivyo. I've never done that. Hii ni hii ni dhambi. This is a sin. Singeweza kufanya hivyo. I've never do that. Anasema hivyo. He's saying that. Anazungumza hivyo. He's talking like that. Kwa sababu ya hofu ya Mungu iliyo ndani yake. Because of the fear of god in him inaitwa hofu it's called fear kama ningesema huyu ni dada wa kwangu and i said this is my wife wangu. my wife unganiua you would have killed me kumbe mtu asiye na hofu so what, anyone without anaweza fear anaweza kufanya kitu chochote he can do anything nani yule kain who is that kain na ndugu yake with his brother abel ana hofu ya mungu abel had the fear of god Anauza, he would sell. Anatoa zaka. Would give out his tithe. Katika mapato yake. In his gains. Yeye naye hivyo hivyo. He did the same thing also. Naye ni mkulima. He was a farmer. Na mahindi yake sio leweke leweka. He had his lands which is not good. So he brought it. Alipona. When he found out. Eh? Yep. Sadaka ya Abel. The sacrifice that Abel had given. Imepokelewa. Had been received and accepted. Kasi maana nitammaliza hivi. He said I'm going to finish him up. Aya twende tukawinde. Okay, let's go to hunt. Wakaenda porini. They went to the forest. Mtu asiye hofu. One without any fear. Anaweza kuua kitu chochote. He can kill anything. Anaweza kuua hata wakufu wake. He can even kill his own salvation. Ikiwa huyu ni ndugu yake. If this one was his brother. Basi wakaenda porini. Then when they went to the bush. Huko huko. Right there. Akarudi peke yake kai. He came back alone this kind. Ndugu yako Abel yuko wapi? Where is your brother Abel? Mimi si mlinzi wa ndugu yangu. Not the keeper my brother. Anajua alilolifanya. He knows what he did. Mtu yoyote ambaye hana hofu ya Mungu. Anyone without the fear of God. Kufanya mabaya. Can it can, can commit Kufanya mabaya. Evil. He can commit any Kuwaja evil. hata kuogoka. He can even stop salvation. Lakini mtu mwenye hofu ya Mungu. But one with the fear of God. Ni mtu wakati wote yuko imara. He's a man who's very firm at any time. Utenda haki. Doing what is right. 
anaendelea kutenda haki. He'll continue doing what is right. Kuna neno ambalo hilo umelisikia. The same word that you have heard. Mtu asiye na hofu ya Mungu. One without the fear of God. Na ili upate hofu ya Mungu. And for you to get the fear of God. Lazima upate moyo na roho ya toba. You must have the, get the heart and soul of repentance. Toba. Repentance. Toba. Repentance. Hai uwezi ukaenda dhambini. You can never go to sin. Uwezi ukaenda dhambini. You can never go into sin. Maana moyo wako una toba. Because you have the, the heart with the repentance. Ni moyo uliovunjika. It's a heart that was broken. Unyenyekevu. Humility. Hutaki kufanya uovu. Don't want to commit anything that's evil. Toba ni kitu muhimu sana. Repentance is actually a very important thing indeed. Kitu muhimu sana. Very important thing. Moyo uliona toba. The heart with the repentance. Si rahisi mtu kwenda dhambini. It's not easy for one to go into sin. Kwa sababu ana toba. Because he has the repentance. Lakini asiye na toba. But one without repentance. Yeye atashinda huko dhambini talale huko. He'll stay in sin until he sleeps there. Ndio tumeletwa ndugu zangu. That's why we've been brought here my dear brothers. Tutafute kama Mungu anavyotuambia. The way God is telling us. Tafuteni na nyinyi mtaona. You seek and you'll find. Mimi naenda dhambini kwa nini? Why do I go into sin? Naiba vitu vya watu kwa nini? Why do I steal people's items? Naharibu wokofu wangu kwa nini? Why do I spoil my own salvation then? Una hofu. Because you don't have the fear. Roho moyo usio na hofu the spirit or the soul and heart Lakini without fear. Wa leo, but this afternoon mungu, let us ask god mungu, and we tell god moyo wa toba. give me the, the heart and of repentance moyo wa toba. give me the heart of repentance kwa hatu njia, you may be having a way unatembea, walking along lile na lile. but you remember this one and that other Ukunjane thing na you are on the way you will find yourself shedding tears Unasikia kulia mbele za mungu. you feel like crying before god Yep. Ni nani mimi hata nifanye hivi? Who am I to do this? Ni nani mimi hata nitende hili? Who am I to act on this thing? Ikiwezekana Mungu nikubali. Accept me God if it's possible. Una lakini moyo wako una masungumuzo. You are working alright but you have conversations in here. Hutafanya dhambi. You never commit any sin. Ufanyi hufanyi dhambi kabisa. Just don't commit any sin at all. Kwa sababu mtu yoyote because any man Hakosi silaha ya kujikinga nayo. Must, must have some, some weapon for his protection. Ya mungu hii, this fear of God. Itamfanya mtu akae salama we'll popote make, pale. Will make one to dwell very safely anyway. Ukimwona ni mwongofu kwenda kwenda. If you see him is a continuous listener. Hata wengine huuliza. But some can even Hai, ask. Ungeli mwongofu kumbe. Are you still safe then? Ah, oh, basi Mungu akusaidie. Then may God help you. Hai. Okay. Bana hana hakika kwamba mtu anaweza kuendelea na mwendo wa kuokoka. Because it's not certain that one can go on with salvation. Mimi nilipewa Biblia na mwalimu mmoja wa shule. I was given a Bible by a school teacher. Hapa Kaloleni. At Kaloleni. Nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa ndugu yake alikuwa mbunge. I was working with, for his brother who was an MP. Hasa ki ananiangalia. Then he looked at me. Ambia mimi naenda nyumbani. I was going home. Ana kesho Jumapili. Go tomorrow Sunday. Oh, na yeye naye anaenda kanisani. And he would go to church also. Lakini akitoka huko sasa. But when he leaves the church, comes from the church. Atakunywa. He'll drink. Hai. Okay. Siku moja akanipa Biblia. He gave me a Bible one day. Chukua hii Biblia hii. You take this Bible. Wewe nawe ukimaliza miezi mitatu. So after the end of three months. Utarudi nyuma. You'll backslide. Mimi nimesoma. I've read it. Sasa hapo yuko kwa pombe sasa. Now that's where you should pray for. Neno nilimwambia hivi. This what I told him. Nikiwa nimejiokoa mwenyewe. If I saved myself, nitaendelea kufanya hivi. Then I'll continue doing that. Lakini kama nimeokolewa, but if I was saved, nitaendelea na kuokoka. I'll continue with salvation. Tukamwacha hivi. I left him like that. Halafu and then haya Okay. Akaja nikuta niko Kilifi hapo. He found me at Kilifi. Niko kwa ferry. In the ferry. Haya. Okay. Unaenda wapi? Na mimi naenda Malindi. I told him I'm going to Malindi. Kuna nini? What for? <laughs> Nikamwambia ni injili tu. I told him just the gospel. Oh, I see. Haya anakuombea. Okay, I'm praying for you. Unaona? You see? Kuonyesha itaendelea kuokoka. So that I'll continue being saved. Haya. Okay. Akaja nikuta hapa Mariakani. He found me at Mariakani. Apo stage. At the stage. Na ngoja gari ya kwenda Nairobi. I was waiting for a bus to Nairobi. Wasalimiana. We greeted each other. Uh -huh. Okay. Ungeni mwongofu? Are you still saved? Na hivi unaenda wapi? Na mbeka ni kuhubiri hivi. I told him I'm a preacher ah, now. Ah, wewe na kuombea. Then I'm praying for you. Mungu akulinde. May God protect you. Ile miaka iliyosema ilipita na mimi naenda na Yesu. Those years he talked about passed by and I was still going with Jesus. Tutafute watu wa Mungu. Let us seek people of God. Mimi nikiwaona hapa. When I see you here. Najua hapa kuna watu wakubwa kweli. I know there's some very great people here. Nyinyi nyote mliyo hapa kila mtu ni mtu. All of you who are here, each one of us is a person. Now then. 
for the devil to have no great chance we shall pray to God this afternoon God to give us his fear the word is fear so if you don't, if you don't have any fear you will kill have you, had, you keep on reading newspapers, don't you? One strangles himself. One slaughters his own wife. What type of heart is this? And then we just sit down. We just sit down. Let's, let's cry to God as people of God. And God will give us that heart of flesh, not of stone. Moyo wajiwe. The heart of stone is a heart without any judgment or condemnation. You marry somebody, she's is your wife, and then you start killing her. Now what type of heart is this, my dear brethren? Let's seek this heart with fear of God. Just allow the repentance to get into your heart. And once the repentance gets in, that's all. The fear will be there. They'll be respecting there. But if you don't have the, the heart of repentance, you don't have any fear, you'll commit such things that will amaze so many people. It's none of your will. What type of spirit does he have? The son saved. One with the, with the son will be saved and save so many other people. The son came. He was beaten. It's him who was persecuted. For people to be able to be saved. For people to be saved. For us to do that, let's stay before God without any worries. Then we should get the heart with the fear of God in it. You see one being defied for a little while, and he'll ask that person, do you still want to eat the maize meal? I'm asking you. Do you still want to get the food? If you don't want any food, then don't follow me. What's that? There's something serious there. Then I'll leave the food here. We want to eat the maize meal and preach. There's a spirit, you people of God. Not that the riches is not there. It's not that salvation is not there. Loving each other, yes, it's there. But if you see anyone committing anything evil, there's none of his will. There's no fear in him. There's no fear in him. No, for God to save us, it's for us to change. What type of heart do I have? The heart of the son that does those of saving. What type of heart do I have? That's what God is looking at. Even this very afternoon, let's agree that we don't have any fear in our hearts. Except me, God, don't forsake me. Why should I go once I die? And we pray. And we ask God. This very day. Which is giving us this word. So it will be very safe wherever you stay. All of you, in fact. The heart of, of fear. Time. If anything nice is done, Judas kept on murmuring. He was murmuring. Then this oil. It better have been sold and given to the poor. A brother with such type of love. But as yet, it wasn't coming from his heart. He went on and went on. After a little while, he would start again. This would be sold and become very beneficial somewhere else. They are seated together with his own preacher. Jesus was being anointed with oil. But, okay, you see such destruction, same way, and yet he had a killing spirit in him. He had a killing spirit in him. Finally, he found himself being given money. He was told, okay, how much is it, brother? If I get 30, 30 pieces of, of silver, then I'll show you. He's just here. Okay. After a little while, he went to greet him. 
He just wanted to go down and bend down, showing that he's a brother with lots of love. And yet that was wrong. Amen. Amen. And that was wrong. That means he was saying, this is the man, the man I've touched, that's the man. He was given the money. Okay. He stayed a little bit. He felt his heart having refused. The judgment had come in now. The fear has come in now. He started trembling. How shall he be? He was feeling that the marriage is no longer sweet now. He went very fast. Wanting to put the money in the basket of offerings. That one was receiving the offerings. The because they knew him. Then consciousness was testified. They returned the basket away from him. He tried again, but no way. He threw the money inside the church. But the judgment was still there. That's why I'm telling you, people of God. Once you have the fear of God, all of us will dwell very safely. We shall dwell very safely. where there is the fear of God. The people of God will dwell very safely. Wherever they may be, they'll eat and drink and drink the work of God because in his heart, he has the fear of God. One without the fear of God, whatever happens to him, he'll commit the sin all the same. But once the, the fear of God gets in, all of us will become brethren. Whatever you pass by, wherever you stay, Amen. Amen. Do you want to be brethren now? This is the thing, my dear brethren, the fear of God. You're walking along without the fear of God. There'll come a time then, you'll say it is very true. I didn't have the fear of God. Save me, God. Because I didn't have any fear of God. And once you pray like that, God will love you and he'll save you and he'll remove everything that can be destroyed. He'll remove it completely. You should receive this heart with the fear of God in it. This is the, the prayer we shall, we shall use and, we fully, when people have the fear of God and there are people who can kill because, because of his wife or maybe because of his wife or husband. One is killed. That spirit is there. That's why I find the son of God. He was persecuted. Now, now he's resurrected. But he passed through so many persecutions. And so many sorrows, in fact. And we shall agree today that God has so much deficiency in me. I don't have the fear. I don't have the fear in me. Create in me your fear, God. And we demand all of us, we demand the fear. Not only blessing. Once we get this fear of God, every, every good thing will be given to us by God. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. If we shall get the fear of God, there's no problem. Once it comes, God will fight for you. In fact, we'll have a, a, a spirit of waiting. One who pleases, believes in God will, will never make haste. He'll move very slowly. He'll move, he'll move very slowly. He'll move very slowly. Like that one who said I would backslide after three years, I don't know how many months. Showing that was not him. When he saw me continuing, he added something to me that God may bless me and go on. Even at this time, God is quite ready to give us the spirit with the fear of God in it. So when we go to pray, you can see one seated right down. He's very sad and very sorrowful. And tears are rolling down his cheeks. What's wrong? What's wrong then? He's defeated to talk. People of God. 
Wokofu uko karibu. Salvation is very close to you. Wokofu uko karibu. Salvation is very near you. Hata hapa ulipo wokofu uko hapo hapo. The salvation is just there with you where you see the ya hofu. The spirit of fear. Tutamuuliza Mungu. We shall ask God. Muchana wa leo. This afternoon. Mwambie Mungu. Just tell God. Sina hofu yako. I don't have your fear. Kumbe ninafanya mabaya ni sina uh, hofu yako. So I'm committing evil things because I don't have the fear. Na mtu ambaye hana hofu, and any, anybody without the fear. Hakupata moyo wa toba. He didn't get the heart of repentance. Toba si ile ya kwamba eh naja kwako bwana. Repentance is not that one of saying I'm coming to you Lord. I'm coming to you Father. Hiyo kuna toba ya namna hii. There's that type of repentance. Kuna toba right. ile ya moyoni kule. But there's this uh, t- uh, t- repentance in your heart. Hata ukiona ile dhambi. So when you see the sin, unaona kutokwa na machozi. You start shedding tears. Kwa nini mimi nilifanya lile? Why did I do that? Na kwa nini nilifanya lile? And why did I commit that thing? Na kuna nini nilikaa vile? And why did I stay that way? Si Mungu nikubali tu. Accept me God. Akuone una moyo huo huo. Then he sees you, you with that hoa, with that si, si, hat. We shall all leo. get the forgiveness this day. When we go to, once we go to pray, we must Wamba be very certain kutupa, that God is going to give us the desires of Roho our hearts. God will remove the whole and unclean spirit so that we may have the fear of God in us. Do you see Abraham saying, Mimi I said that Mana nilijua, mke wangu, because I knew you'd kill me once I say she's Konyesha my wife. Kuna mambo mengi ni Showing there are so many things being spoiled because of this Roho spirit. Chafu. A very unclean si spirit. It's not a spirit for one to ask for the other to Kama get nice na na roho hiyo, Had we have that heart and that soul, each one of us would be settled down. Lakini wengi hujitafutia. But many of us seek things for themselves. Lakini naamini but I believe funguo ya mema umeipata. We got the key for the good things now. Funguo ya mema umeipata. We got the key for the good things now. Watu wanauana. People are killing each other. Na anayeua si mnyama ni mtu. And that's why he was killing not an animal, he's a man. Sasa ni roho ya mnyama hii. Now this is a, a, a Yesu yuko tayari. And Jesus quite ready. Tumuruhusu maana alifufuka. Just allow him because he resurrected. Mwambie Peter na hapa bwana. Tell him pass through here Lord. Mimi nami nataka kufufuliwa. I want to be resurrected as well. Na atapita na hapa. And he'll pass through that place. Leo 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 Just leo. Just today. Atapita mahala umekaa. He'll pass through the place he's seated. You want to sit there empty. You never stay there alone. You never stay there with problems. The spirit without the fear. You shall pray to go to the back of the Missouri. So it may reach into the nice things which God talked about. Amen. Amen. Which God talked about. You'll eat the good of the land. Not the complications of the land. Not the troubles of this land. No, the nice things of this land. I thought the nice things are there this morning. Hofu ya Mungu. The fear of God. Hili neno, this thing, Mungu atujalie, may God enable us, niingie mioni mwetu, that it should get into our hearts. Utapata mabadiliko makubwa. You'll get very great changes. Utapata mabadiliko makubwa. You'll get very great changes. Maana kinachoharibu ni hakuna hofu ya Mungu. The thing that destroys is the lack of fear. Wewe unaonaje Ibrahim anatembea? How do you find it? Abraham Na ni mwanadamu kama sisi. As a human being like us. Kuonyesha kuna watu wengi showing that there are so many people wana roho hiyo. who have that type of spirit. Ibrahim anaulizwa. Abraham was asked. Alikuwa na roho ya kuokoa Ibrahim. He had a saving spirit that Abraham amejitoa hata kama watamchukua maana wanaona ni ndugu yake if they will take her because they find that hakuna neno ataitwa semegi hapo it's okay i'll get a brother in law here ni kusema huyu ni mke wangu other than saying this is my wife i'll be finished away completely how many people have been killed how many people have uh, finished him because of this spirit ni sababu ya roho hii just because of this spirit ni sababu ya roho hii just because of this spirit ni sababu ya roho hii just because of this spirit na mungu anataka tuokoe mchana wa leo and god wants to save us you better decide wherever you are and tell God I don't have any fear in me and God will give us God will surely give us do you want the changes the changes are there just agree in your heart that I don't have the fear of God so many things are spoiled because I didn't have the fear of God then the perfect love in the human being is lacking but God has chosen this Sunday Jesus is resurrected he says you have resurrected together with him he's no longer in the grave 
Amen. Amen. If you need one to you clap your hands, go ahead and clap. Clapping with someone who defeated death is the Lord Jesus. To take a good opportunity. At the time we go into prayers, you take some good opportunity. So this killing spirit is very evil. So it starts from very far. One can kill his own father. One stabbed his own father with a knife. It was a very small farm, not even 20 acres of size. He wanted to stay there himself. A spirit without any fear. You lose the life of a parent because of his own gains. Then why don't you seek? Amen. Amen. The spirit, the spirit without fear. The spirit without fear. And I believe very highly that there's a very great redemption. The spirit of God is talking this way. But the Lord Jesus is resurrected. He's resurrected. He's got away from the killing spirit. He's now resurrected. They said he had been killed. Today he's quite alive. He's walking together with us. Amen. Amen. This is the thing you people of God. If you have given this word like that, the one who gave us this word is God. There are so many evil things being happening. But the spirit of fear is not inside one of these people. Each one does whatever he wants to do. Everybody acts on the thing he wants to act on. We shall pray to God and tell him, save us because I don't have the fear of God. God. In my life, that from my youth, I don't have the fear of God. You see, your father has been giving him food and he's eating. People started from far. Okay, the relationship has been put for him that's been There's some very heavy bones. You cannot chew those things. But you howl so much saying that my father's relationship is so much. Oh, keep, put into my bowel as much as that of my father. Okay, that's where the spirit of thieving is starts from. If you are not given, you become like a cat now. You start so slow, very slow. Slowly. You move very slowly. Huh? Okay. Where are you going to, ah, brother? Oh, no. I was just playing around. And they wanted that, that saucepan which has the Leo, in it. Today is to pray very fully. Are you ready, you people of God, now? It's a day of redemption. A day of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. A very unclean spirit which killed the Lord Jesus. That's the spirit that God is talking about. Abraham met it. His wife was asked. She said, no, this is my brother. I'll take her to the guest house. They went. Okay. People ate lots of rice. And the old man put his coats down. He said, what are you doing? This is somebody's wife. He jumped up there and started complaining. Why have you done this? Wanting Abraham to, be, Abraham to become a transgressor. Why did you bring a curse in my kingdom? He said, no. I saw there was no fear of God in here. And they'll kill me for the sake of my wife. That's why I said that. He was saved. But had he said, this is my wife. Was Solomon said, my just recently come into my house. Welcome in. Okay, well, there's a new person there. Come and see her. He would have just been shared through it very clean. The unclean spirit. The Lord has redeemed us. The Lord has redeemed us. Fear. One without the fear of God. Let's choose the true spirit. And this prayer which you shall make is the one that will make you choose and you bear the cost. You say from now 
Maana si kwamba watu hawajui kuna mabaya. So that people don't know there are so many evil Ibrahim things. Ibrahim aliona tahajaingia hiyo nchi. Abraham saw them before entering into that land. Akaiona vile ilivyo. He saw it as it how it was. Na na vile ilivyo. And was saved from how it was. Hata leo ni mshindi. Even today is a victor. Hata tunazungumza habari sana. And we talking about him. Kuonyesha hata wewe ukiamini hivyo itakuwa hivyo. Showing that if you believe it will be like Abraham wewe nao. You'll, you'll be just like Abraham also. Utaingia kwa mabaya. You never get into evil things. Utaona uko katika njia nzuri. You'll find yourself being in very good way. Siku na mchana. In fact there and night. Ni wakati mzuri sana. It's a very nice time now. Kwa kuamua. For deciding. Umwambie Mungu nisaidie. You tell God help me. Umwambie Mungu nisaidie. Just tell God help me. Kwa sababu nilikoseka tangu mtoto because I was mis misled right from my children. We started from our youth. Doing things which were not right. Na Mungu leo. And God wants today. Wana the Lord should save you. Wana God should fight for Na you. Na sisi sote. And I believe that all of us we shall dwell very safely. In day. We shall dwell very safely in Mana Mungu because God is our refuge. Mungu God is our refuge. He says, Come to me. Nyinyi nyote all of you who are suffering. I'll give you rest. He says I'll give you rest. He says I'll give you rest. Which, which country are you in, my dear brother? Because there's this land which you can never be safe. And this comes along because people don't have the fear of God. And because there's no fear of God in them, you do those things which are not good. So when others ask you, why have you done this? There's nothing that can be done on this earth. Ah, what? A spirit without fear. Just pray to God, you people of God. If there's any sin that makes the rain never to come down, let's repent. Let's repent. Because some can justify themselves. They say if it is tithe, I give out. There's one who precedes saying those things. Oh God, I'm not like other people. He was asked why. I fast. I give out my, my tithe and arms as well. I always go to church. I'm not like this man here. What? Okay. I had finished his prayers. And then his colleague also went into prayer. Oh God, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. I don't deserve to look up there. He was justified. He'll also be justified if you agree. You can be justified once we agree. We shall pray for God to save us, for God to fight for us. Because he's the savior of the whole world. The spirit of killing. The spirit without the fear of God. It means just telling God, I don't have any fear of you in my enemy. So that's why I'm doing such things that are not good to people. Tell God, save me now. I've known myself that I'm a transgressor because I'm committing very useless things. Tell God, just fight for me from today. Tell him I need the spirit with fear in me. The spirit with fear. Which your servant Abraham saw. Give it to me as well. The fear that comes from you. But God sees that sort of thing. Just today. At this time. When we go into prayers. Be very certain. That God is going to break off all the works of the devil. He will destroy them completely. Because this is not a saving spirit. A, a saving spirit. spirit. That's the, the spirit that God looks at. And right now, all of us who are here, let's accept it that way. And then God can put in his spirit. Surely you'll, be, you'll rejoice very much. And you say that was God. And it's God even at this moment. But we need to do it just agree. He says, once you agree, you will eat the good of the land. The good of the land. He says we shall eat it once we agree. But the thing that is destroying all the plans of God is the spirit without fear. We don't have any fear.
Ni rahisi kuijua tu. It's so easy to know it. Hata wewe, even you, ukienda safari, when you're traveling, ile nchi unayoenda mgeni, you when you go to the land, au nyumba ile unayoenda mgeni, or maybe that house you get in as a stranger. Unaona hata kula kwako chakula ni kwenye hofu. You'll find that by you are eating will be with fear. Sisi nafungwa harusi kila siku. So many so, so many weddings are solemnized daily. Utaona bibi harusi, you'll find the bride. Anakula kapande kanyama kadogo. Eating a very small piece of meat. Because of the fear in her heart. Unless they say, I love meat very much. Then why don't you eat? They say, no. I've already eaten. But then, they don't go back to her house now. What? What? Some, some heavy work will pass through there. Because she will be very free then. The fear is gone. I mean, my own house will be the same. She'll break even the bone. Yep. Because so she's gone out of that place. But if you have the fear, I'm telling you that you won't eat. Even if you're left alone, you will never eat it. Lest they say I've finished all the amazement. That's the fear also. But there's the saving fear. And there's the fear of healing, which brings in good things. That's what the thing that God is talking about this morning. When we go into prayers, Tell God, save me. I have a spirit without fear. So that's why my ways are not good. Save me, God, now. And give me the heart of, of repentance and the heart, spirit of repentance which I have fear in it, lest I get into sin. And God will give us. He says, come to me. He keeps on calling, come to me. He says, and I'll save you. And I'll bless you. And I'll heal you. Amen. Amen. Don't doubt anything in your heart. Expect that God is going to do something very nice to you. He's going to do a very good thing to you. God promised. God promised, my dear. There's nothing impossible to him. All of things are possible. He called his, his disciples. Book of Luke chapter 9. Book of Luke chapter 9. Let's pray to God himself now that he may save us and give us a spirit with fear. Book of Luke chapter 9 verse 1. Akawaita wale tenashara, akawapa uwezo na mamlaka juu ya pepo wote na kuponya maradhi. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Ye munataka maradhi yaende? Do you want the diseases to go? Tutaomba mungu. We shall pray to God. Maradhi yoyote ya siyo fa. For all useless diseases. The diseases are not good at all. Any weakness on the body is not good. Then he called his disciples. He gave them the authority and power over all the demons. Right now you are killed. You come from different places. When you go into prayers, God will give us the spirit of fear. They'll go together with power and authority over every work of the devil. God will break them down and we shall dwell very safely. Let us seek. He just had to call the disciples. The way you are here right now, you didn't come on your own. You were just called to come and listen and be given the power and authority over every demon, over every disease, over every weakness. God is going to give us this afternoon. Just decide whatever you are. But now we are going into prayers. Make yourself ready. We're going into prayers now. We believe that God will put in a very new thing in, you, in our lives. Let's stand up. Let's close our eyes now. Before we close our eyes, first of all, there's a song that will be Sorry. made for us. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Then each one of us now Amen. pray to God Amen. and tell God I'm a very Amen. unclean spirit. Right from my youth, I have an unclean spirit. I have an evil spirit. Tell God, help me. I have a very unclean spirit. Just tell God, I have a spirit, all right, but very unclean. Tell God, help me. And we believe that God will do exactly that. He promised to, to heal and he'll surely heal. Then each one of us will buy his own mouth. Tell God save me. Just pray, my dear brethren. Just tell God save me. Tell God fight for me. Because he's a saving God. Because he's a saving God. Yes, so great to my own. 
tuliyeji angalia tunapotea angalia tunapotea e mungu siku baba bwana yaria bwana yesu jamii bwana yesu jamii mwokozi wa roho wa yesu baba na kutukuza baba na kuinua baba na kusifu mwokozi uliyeji bwana wa mungu ni yeye Jina lako Jina lako litukufu Oh hallelujah Oh God has saved us. Mungu ametuokoa kabisa. God has saved us fully. Ukitoka hapa, when we leave this place, itakuwa ni oh hallelujah. It will be oh hallelujah for everyone. Yeye ni mzuri ndugu zangu. Is it okay my dear brethren? Tayari haya maombi ambayo tumeomba yamepokelewa na Bwana Yesu. I've already been received by the Lord Jesus. Bwana yuko hai. Because it's a lie. Lakini tu watu wa Mungu tujue hivi. But we should know this you people of God. Tujue hivi. We should know hope the fear ndio na haribu. Destroys. Kama hakuna hofu nzuri ya Mungu. If there isn't any fear of God. Mambo mengi inaharibika. So many things get spoiled. Pastor Luka Mariki atufungie. Pastor Luka Mariki please close the service for us with prayer. Tufunge macho sote ndugu zangu. Close our eyes all of us my dear brethren. Oh hallelujah. Baba wa mbinguni nakushukuru Mungu wa mwanzilishi kwa sababu unatujua vyema Bwana. Uliona vile ambavyo mwokozi tumekuwa mbali na wewe kwa sababu Bwana Hatuna hofu itokayo kwako. Baba ni asante kwa ajili ya asubuhi ya pekee bila ambavyo mwokozi umemtumia mtumishi wako. Maana ulijua bwana kwa hakika hatuwezi kukuona. 
maana mioyo yetu haina hofu itokayo kwako na shukuru kwa hiyo siri ya pekee ama mchungaji mwema umempa mtumishi wako na amekuwa mwaminifu kunena na kutuombea na aminikiwa na hakika Mungu wa mazilishi unamsikia na tayari bwana umemimina hiyo hofu itokayo kwako ndani ya mioyo ya watu wako mokozi baba asante kwa ibada ya pekee ambayo bwana tulianza mikononi mwako hivi sasa mokozi ninairejesha tena mikononi mwako Mungu wa mazilishi ukafumue watu wako kwa amani na utulivu na zaidi ya yote baba hofu yako iambatane nao baba ni asante kwa kuwa umetenda na umetimiza nimeomba hayo ni kwa jina la Yesu moko amen asante bwana tuko huru kutoka wimbo ndio huo uko huru kucheza yote ni yetu hai all these things are yours amen amen winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana mungu mwenye uwezo winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana mungu mwenye uwezo Mwenye uweza winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana Mungu mwenye uweza winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana winuliwe bwana Mungu mwenye uweza winuliwe bwana 